Hello, this is Dr. Leo at the lead time. In this video, I will demonstrate you how to make a peppermint hydrosol from a fresh peppermint by using the KD5 hydrosol maker. And I got a request from the audience uh, to demonstrate the process and that this is a video showing you all the steps you go from the beginning to the last. Before the video, I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing our channel and we have uh, reached over 10K. I'm very excited and uh, we're going to open our membership channel. The first member video talk about the preservatives for hydrosol. If you sell the hydrosol, you may think about using the preservatives because you have the transportation and stay on the shelf, on your shelf and on the customer's shelf. So have a good uh, preservatives used in the hydrosol could be an option for you to keep it safe and uh, longer, you know, the valid time to use. Yeah, please join our the membership channel and support us. Now let's start the demonstration. Uh, I'm using the fresh peppermint leaf, but I also got a question, can I use a fresh or dry? You can use either one. Both works perfectly when you're making the hydrosol. But for most of the cases, the dry herbs give you more concentrated hydrosol and the dry herbs because they have a longer shelf life. So you can use the, you know, the herb year round. Um, but if you have a garden, and uh, you can use the fresh, the leaf, flower to make the hydrosol. That doesn't hurt. It's also perfect options. KD5 is a portable hydrosol maker. It has three major parts. The first one is a pot. That's where the water goes in. And the second one is the herb steamer. So that's where the herb we got to put in. And within the steamer, there are two sieve plates, the two sieve plates. So one at the bottom and after putting the herb and then the other one on the top. And the lid will connect the steamer with the pot. And the last uh, major one is the condenser. The condenser help uh, condense the steam back into water. When we are doing the distillation, so we got some uh, materials. The first one need a heat source. So you can use a hot plate, you can use a fire stove and a water, of course. So water will go into the pot. I already have a liter of the filter water in the pot. You want to use some water that has no chlorine. So you don't have bring the actual the scent into your products. A little stand. You don't have to be a jack stand. Jack stand has, uh, you know, flexibility to adjust the height to match your the heat source. But uh, you can use whatever you know stable and a uh, correct height the base to just lift up. Because when we collecting the hydrosol, so you want to put the the container under the condenser. And the last one is. the herb. So we're gonna need the herb to the distillation. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a, a peppermint hydrosol from the fresh peppermint. To prepare the herb steamer, so first put the sieve plate in. So this can help uh, distribute the steam evenly. And then when we prepare the herb, different herb we use different the parts. For the peppermint, we like to use the leaf. So just pick the leaf and then add into the steamer. A little bit stem is not a problem. The stem also has the essential oil, just doesn't have as much as the leaf. I don't use those uh, yellow or waste leaves. It smells so good, the fresh, the peppermint. I love that, especially it's perfect to uh, make this in the morning. 
By the way, peppermint is very easy to grow. There are, and they spread very fast. So if you grow peppermint, uh, make a garden box. Otherwise, it go everywhere. Okay, so now I got a full cup the uh, peppermint leaf, and then. Don't forget put the top sieve uh, plate on. This is very important. So now the steamer is ready. So close the lid on the pot and then screw this steamer on top of the pot. When it works, the water will be boiling and the steam goes through the peppermint and then extract all the essential oil and into the condenser. So now I'm going to use the, the tubing, connect the steamer and the condenser. So the whole thing is ready. We just turn on the heat and let it go. So now we got to use the ice cubes and the cold water in the condenser. So that is the coolant to help cool down the steam into the hydrosol. The water will become hot with time with collecting the hydrosol because it's taking the heat out of the steam. So when it's hot, so use a little scoop, scoop up the hot water. You don't have to scoop all of the water out. And then add more ice cubes in. And you can also add more cold water there if you need it. Repeat the process for a few times until you get enough hydrosol. For one full cup, of the herb normally we recommend to get a 500 milliliter of a hydrosol but with the fresh ones you may get a less than you're using the dry ones so you can test it with time we have another video to show you how to measure the hydrosol and test the end of the distillation i want to show you the color of a hydrosol It is a bit of a cloudy, but uh, it does have a very strong the peppermint smell, the minty smell. Fresh leaf, because it uh, contains a lot of water, normally in the leaf about 80% or higher. So you will get a, a less concentrated as you made from the dry leaf. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped go through all the steps of using the KD5. To make a hydrosol please like the video subscribe the channel this is dr leo see you next time